When the journey begins, you never quite know who's going to be there at the end. Now only two teams left in the cup, and we're left wondering who's going to be lifting it. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. And what a test for these two sides as they meet in the final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. It's Wolfsburg, and they take on Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. This is how the starting lineup looks today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Freigang. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. It's looking promising. It might be. defending well not coming close to hitting the target from there well, there it is I'm not sure what all the fuss was about it wasn't even close in the end Brajnikar Magnificent defending Alexandra Pop Well she's on her game And winning it back Feierzinger Well the fans want her to take on the shots and no way through Surely Well the fans are certainly having their say just listen to them they thought that was a penalty and Simple for the keeper Geraldine Reuterer. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Good-looking play as she tries to get them onto the front foot. The cross played over and work to do defensively. Very timely interception. That's very effective. Good high pressing. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Reutela. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Well, they need to get tighter here. Roared! Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that?
as the replay shows, that's such a brilliant bit of skill to set up the chance. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. Could she have done better? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. One nil then. Another stoppage time situation. One minute here. And the whistle is sounded. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. She's made a really important challenge. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. And you need your defender to take charge. Well read to put an end to that attack. Brilliant piece of skill. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now can they counter clinically? Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And good work to deny the chance. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. So making the substitution now. Laura Feierzinger. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. This could square the game. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Into the final 20 minutes. Nicole Agnomi. Teammates available. And she couldn't quite direct it on the target. You're absolutely right. That was never troubling the goalkeeper, was it? And possession given away. Able to get a body in the way. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. Well, credit to her, because that was just a whisker away. Well, she surprised everybody, including me. A decent effort, you have to say. Well, they've decided to make a change. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. And so into the final five minutes. Reutler. Now with Feierzinger. Oh, good-looking run. Takes aim. And quite simply, wide of the target. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Opportunity in the wide area. 
that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up so back in business here the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude who wants this more Well, they've lost possession of the ball. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Laura Feierzinger. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. That's a routine take. They've regained possession. Dunst. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And Yomi. And blocked for now. And teammates to play it to. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Half time in extra time. And still they are level. Well, the big question, who will come out on top? We're into the second period of extra time here. And the emphasis is on creativity. But they dealt with the threat posed. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. Oh, yes! The goal that might well be him the goal that could give them the trophy well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and what a finish it ends up being she just lifts it over the goalkeeper and into the net what a good piece of skill that was What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Hechler. Now with Reutela. How can they find a late leveller? Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Eva Payor. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. And a throw-in forthcoming. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught memories are being made well just look at those scenes down there Derek what a contrast in emotions brilliant for the winners despair for the losers but overall the right team won today yep you can see what it means to this tight knit team real solidarity well this is special for everybody at the club what a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition, but my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now, 
They savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. It's really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.